Shalom, but the stuff souls begin no pretty how up, but shame me on shabba shame kakadash. Double honors the apostle, great most son, and honors you brothers don't work the most son, truth and then sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the Lord ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and the son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah meaning in, Haming that and Sham meaning names Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. I was on the socials and I saw, uh, would you call it? Uh, these two, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Jakes, right? I got their, you know, podcast platform. And they just, you know, react and laugh, laugh to things, right? Um, it got sent to me, and there's no audio on it, and uh, because of the way I obtained the video, but there was something in there that was said. I was like, you know what? There's, there, you know, there's a lesson in there, right? So we're just gonna play it, all right? So as if calm is so real why white people still having a good time, right? Um, and the first thing's first, right? There's no such thing as, um, you know, white people, black people, Chinese people, you, you know, there are nations, right? Nations as, um, you know, referred to in the scriptures, right? And one of the things is you are what your father is. So we can start off with that, right? This is Numbers 1 and 18, Right, it says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day on the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their poles. Right. And uh, that's it. So you are what your father is. So this concept of black and white, because, you know, you could then say uh, someone may then come back and, and as a retort say, yeah, but, you know, you get, you know, uh, you know, so-called so-called white people that ain't doing so good, right? Yeah, if they're an Israelite, then it's just because they're cursed. If they're Edomite, uh, for real, then that means they're just a two-time loser, as the apostles used to call it, I right? used to phrase it, right? But there ain't, um, you know, this this concept of colour, it, it, you know, it ain't that black and white. Right? That's why, for instance, especially, I, mean, I don't know where these cats are, these are London cats, they would have had that one so-called white boy in the clip that was just down, right? Like a like a M and you know, I always think about it. Imagine like you're you're Dr. Dre or you know, you're all of them man, and you got this, you know, one white boy that just comes round, right, and he's just chilling with the Jakes. Like that's because this as the scripture says, we'll grab that real quick. Right, this is Romans eight sixteen. It says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So basically going into the fact that we uh, you know we can identify other Israelites by the fact that we're you know we're Israelites and they're Israelites and the spirit resonates right um, you know you know we've got countless stories you know of of, 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 of of things like this right you know there are just certain things that Jake just do right Jake vibe Jake dance right he can't dance I've seen animals you know more in rhythm than Edomites man. Right, we've all seen it. You might 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 be a dog, or whatever, or a parrot, right? And you know they're they you know they're dancing, you know they're bobbing their head or whatever, and it's more on beat than Esau can do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, but um, uh, so what what a bit of a tangent there, uh, but yeah, uh, Romans eight sixteen says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, right? So Jay, we have flavor. We read Matthew five thirteen. Right, says so you're the salt of the earth, right? So we're the salt of the earth, and just certain things that Jake do, right? But you know, it, it you know, pe people that's that's a stumbling block that certain individuals can't get over, right? Um, and what else, right? Scripture says this is Galatians six and seven. It says, uh, be not deceived, the most high is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right, because these are two Jakes making that statement, right? They're making that statement of, oh, you know, you know, if if, if karma exists then uh, you know, why 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 white people are having such a good time? And when you when you stop and you break that down, right? Only reason Jake is observing that these either months are having a good time is because Jake isn't having a good time. Right? And why isn't Jake having a good time? Because we fucked up, we were not, right? We pissed the most high off, and then we ended up in the predicament that we're in. This is Micah 7 and 9, right? I'll bear the indignation of Yahweh because I've sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness, right? So that's 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 exactly uh, why we're, we're in this case, right? You read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, Right, the Lord, you know, for fourteen verse, like, look, man, 
all you got to do, right? You know, you, you, you be good, right? And, you know, we going to be all, uh, it says you, you follow these laws and you're going to be good, right? You're going to have all these blessings, right? Even it says in the 15th verse, but yo, listen up though, yeah? If you don't follow what I'm telling you to do, right? If you sin, right? Guess what? You've got these uh, 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 53, right? Verses of curses that are going to befall you. Right, and guess what? Jake went off, but it was always written that it was gonna go off, but we ended up in this position that we are in, right? Which is at the bottom, right? But that's that's once again to show the power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai, because here it is where the law is chosen, and then we're in this predicament, right? So, uh, continuing on, so it says, uh, so we read this, right? So, yeah, we're, we're in this predicament because we went off, man, right? Not because Esau so great, uh, I can't think how that's phrased. And um, let me see. I think I think it says is this and what a no yoke maybe. Yeah. So Isaiah forty seven and six. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. So we're in this predicament also. Es Esau may think he's better than Jake or whatever, what have you. But it's like, no, we were given into your hand, E. Right? You ain't better than us. Right? We were given into your hand. Right, it says, thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient thou uh, hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Right? So we were given into Esau's hand and he, you know, he, didn't, he didn't let go. Right, and to this day, we're at the bottom, right, for our punishment, right? That's why we don't enjoy this place, right? We're at the bottom because, well, well, that's that's just what it is, right? It says, uh, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction, right? This place isn't our rest, this is a place of our captivity, right? You know, but Jake, a lot of the time, um, uh, it just... You know, trying to live the way that Esau lives. This is uh, Proverbs three thirty one. It says, "Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways." Right? Uh, for the fraud is an abomination to Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. Right? You know, and 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 in in this world, right, we are set to lose. Right? The scriptures in Deut the curse in Jude twenty twenty eight says, "These these curses shall pursue thee and overtake thee." Right? So whatever it is that Jake be doing, you know, these curses are going to come. They're going to come looking, right? And Esau's going to be, as the scripture says, he's in this in this time, Esau's going to be the head and we will be the tail, right? But right now they're living it up, right? They're living it up. Uh, it's not Isaiah, it's 73, isn't it? That I want, I think. This is Psalm 73 and 3. For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Right? And these Edomites are doing good. And that's what that, 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 that this clip was saying. Right? Why are they so happy? You see them, especially like ones are doing good. Right? You see them, they've got that smile on their face. But hey, guess what? The, the, the Lord is taking that smile away. Because these Edomites, they're starting to feel the pinch too. Right? The way that Esau has set this place up. Right? They're starting to uh, 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 you know, feel the pinch as well, man. Right? The way, um, for instance, over here you've got something called shared ownership, right? Which is basically like flats where you could you could buy them and, and get in on the property ladder for so called cheaper. Which you know, Arkim, uh, through the spirit, identified it as a scam immediately, right? When basically what ended up happening is these people moved into these flats and now they're paying exorbitant uh, service charges such that they can't sell their flat. Because no one wants to pay those service charge and they themselves can't afford the service charge. Right? So what are you gonna do? Right? Showing you that E hey man, <laughs> that those are no more subtle than any beast, the serpent's more subtle than any beast of the field. Verse forcible, they are no band in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they played like other men. Right? So these Edomites, they're living good, man. Right? They're living good and uh, you know, when Jake is seeing this, they're like, look, you know, why are these Edomites able to live so well? Right? Because it is in their kingdom. Right. But what does the scriptures say? Right. Because I was going to get something, but actually, let me start off on here. Right. This is Nahum 1 and 2. It says, the Most High is jealous and Yahweh revengeth. Yahweh revengeth and is furious 
right? Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Right? So as we read earlier on in Galatians 6 and 7, right, the Most High will um, not at all acquit, uh, what was it? What does it say? Whatsoever man so if that shall he also reap. So like, yeah, I get my, my precepts mixed up, right? So even though, and in fact, let me jump here before I finish this off, right? Because this is this is what um, happens. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, right? So once again, J.B. saying he's even much living good, no consequence uh, is supposedly coming to them, right? They think that, um, you know, he, he has gotten away with the things that he's done, Right, but that he's not gotten away, right? The most high is just long suffering, he's patient. Okay. So back in Nahum uh um um one and one and one and three now, right? It says Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds and the dust of his feet. Right. So he will not at all acquit the wicked. Right. So he is just pulling up a tab. No, he's just pulling up a tab and he's going to come a day, a set day, at a set time where the Lord is going to come and judge this, 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 uh, this man right, and completely destroy his kingdom. This is Romans 9.22. What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Okay. And that's it. You know, the most size is just uh, everything that we see happening in this world. It's just Yahweh Bashem Yashai flexing his muscles, if you will. You know, as, a, as, a, as, 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 as the saying goes, flexing his strength, flexing his might, right? Showing you that he can bring, as the scriptures describe him, the basis of man and set him on a position, right? Make him, you know, uh, into, the, into, in, 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 into someone who is feared, right? This Edomite and his weaponry is feared. Okay, that's why despite these nations being pissed off of America, right? That's why they still they still are about because they know, hey, look, man, you don't you don't if I uh, would you call it you you play you play in line with America, man. Okay. Uh, so we we fe we finished that, yeah. But I'm gonna end with this, right? This is Jer Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. For thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, I was surely drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, right? But thou shalt surely drink of it, right? So who, what, what, what does this cup represent? This cup represents slavery, right? Jay, we went through slavery, and we, we, yo, we drank, right? As a nation, we drank, and we drank a lot, man, right? You know, to the end that, you know, as a nation, we've not, um, you know, we, we, we through right now. Right, and basically the question is so if 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 my people that you know were referred to as um you know the apple of Yahweh Shem Yah Shai's eye, right, with the apple of you know of the Lord's eye, yet we drank and we, we, we are at the bottom bottom. Right? I forgot who, who said it, you know, so Salaki I can't give the credit, but that's why you have um uh that's why you have uh I, I forgot that the, the saying was um, if you even have like a bum, an Edomite, right, that will still think that they're better than Jay. Like you, you see a bum Edomite, and they'll still think they're better than Jay. And it's true, right? That's how low uh, uh, that we that we ha have become as a nation, right? But it basically goes to say, so if if I fucking do that to my people, right, what about you? There's a nah, you ain't gonna get away with it. You will be punished, right? E these Edomites will be punished. Right for primarily for what they did, they've done to the children of Israel, right? Well, you know what they've done to the earth, but also to what they've done to these heathens, because those aren't his heathens; those are our heathens. <laughs> okay, you know, pursuant to Second Ezra the sixth chapter, right? You know, all things were made for our sake, right? So as always, Lord's will does edifying. Until next time, we say shalom.